Hello, peeps. I am Team of Fletcher CRC's Moobit uh, here for Movie Night. Join me on the screen up there. I think he's going to be about here somewhere. He's going to be our co founder, Nick. How are you doing, dude? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> it's a, I'm not bad. I'm not bad. It's. Uh, it's been a, it's been a little while, hasn't it? We've this is the first uh, video we've done since like November because we we tend to record, you know, ahead of time, and obviously we want to take most of December off. So that was that was uh, that was fun. Well, let's get on with it, shall we? This is the pilot of Team Reflectors Movie Night. Um, now. The way this is going to work on our Patreon, eventually when we set that up, we're going to have uh, you know live watch parties that people can come along and watch along with us. But uh, for this, we're going to do just the highlights, and uh, we well, it's going to be edited highlights, which is going to be fun for me because I'm trying to avoid editing at all costs. Thanks, Nick. Um, <laughs> what are we watching today, dude? We're watching the menu. A uh, new film mm. uh, just came out on Disney+. Plus. But of course, we, none of this would be possible without our lovely sponsors, Arc Cinema. Um, all their details are in the description below, but thank you for sponsoring us, guys. You guys are amazing. Uh, just a, a, a national cinema chain who uh, share our sort of community interest sort of company ideals. So uh, go and check them out. They're awesome. Without further ado, let's get on with the film, shall we? for me make sure people don't bother me that's right we both know you were not bothered i saw all his movies when i was a kid yeah. enjoy beautiful thank, thank you. you it's one of his classics my wife would probably like this film for the food the <laughs> she's a white foodie I, I could not take food that seriously nah me neither it's fuel yeah i is it i'm, a, I'm an <laughs> eat to live person oh rather God. than live to eat you know it is laughable <laughs> please don't say mouthful too late mouthfeel I'm Margo. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Margo, welcome. We'll endeavor to make your evening as pleasant as possible. Thanks. Right this way. Thank you. Oh dear. No, no, fine. We have reached the base camp of not bullshit. This is That'd be me. I'm off. Just like her. Yeah, I'm of her opinion. Yeah. We mustn't disturb the world's high end grills, says Jesus. I like her already. The way this is presented so far, uh, as someone who's not seen this, it's, uh, you, you know, very much like pointing a finger at, at, at you know, that that society, you know, that, that cult culture, that food culture, you know? Um, yeah. Which I like, because it's not like you, I, I just don't get it. <laughs> yeah. My wife would get it. She'd probably see this from a different point of view, perhaps. I, um, we'll watch this afterwards, I think. But, I mean, don't get me wrong, as a scientist, what they do is it, it, brilliant, you know, it's uh, amazing how they can make things like those little balls, for example, you know, but it's... It's the... For lack of a better term, snobbery about it. Yeah, exactly, that that turns me off. The, 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 the science, the gas, gastro, whatever they call it, that, you know, that... Is it gastro, not enterology, whatever, but anyway, that gastric science stuff fascinating but like the snobby around it and the eliteness around it and especially when yeah. you know there's not enough food to go around everyone in the world already you know it it makes me feel uncomfortable a bit <laughs> I, 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 I don't mind them uh being pressured about their food but you know food choices and things it's the food challenges oh look how much one person can eat yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones. you're right actually Chef, is he around here somewhere? I'd love Why to talk with Why don't you take him. your seat? Ooh. We're about to serve. So that's okay, three okay. times there's been a little sinister on mm. the mm. Yeah. Detail, like, fuck. Like they're doing that professional yeah, stuff and then like it drops for a split yeah. second, doesn't it? Mm. I'm enjoying the cinematography in this scene because uh, as a gimbal operator, I want the camera to move all the time, all the time now. <laughs> You're always on set trying to get me to keep still, aren't you? <laughs> that every shot's moving. I love it. <laughs> yeah. uh, the shots move when they need to. 
Yeah. I think this is but in barely frozen filtered seawater, which will flavor the dish as it melts. No, this is what the guy was fishing for. Early sorry. Um, sorry, chef. Perfectly all right. Yes, they are those very same scallops. Uh, here's what you must remember about this dish. We, the people on this island, are not important. The island and the nutrients it provides exist in their most perfect state without us gathering them or manipulating them or digesting them. What happens inside this room is meaningless compared to what happens outside in nature. So if you're giving that speech at a restaurant, what do you think? <laughs> I'd be like slowly backing out the back door. <laughs> Good delivery though. It's a nice way of getting to know all the characters. Yeah. No? Yeah, I like that. It doesn't feel forced no. or contrived. Sorry. Yeah, it's a very natural way to do it. These two are obviously old married couple kind of thing. Hmm. And it was, uh... Now he saw Margo and they had a reaction. So there's something that... <laughs> Reminded a lot of Hannibal with these food scenes. Yeah, good, good shout. Have you seen Hannibal? Uh, I've seen uh, well the movie. And I've I've not I've watched the first couple of episodes of the TV series, but uh, I've not finished it. But I do. I've seen scenes on YouTube and things, you know. Just just because I like to look at things from a you know cinematography point of view, of course. Taco Tuesday. I like his accent. Mm. It's done a good job. Yeah. This is my mother. I should have stabbed him in the throat that evening. But we're not so smart when we're young. Starting to turn. Yeah. <laughs> that was sinister as all hell. How did I get these? <sighs> what the? It's not good. These are tortillas, which contain Echo Bright's tax records and other documents showing how your company has created invoices with fake charges. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Chef never reveals his recipes. You would just be my. Who is that woman? Yeah. Yeah. You just be my. Yeah. Sorry, go on. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, on a second viewing, I'm picking up on things. Yeah, I was kind of liking him until this point. Yeah. Oh. That's the wrong answer, mate. Oh my god. This is incredible. You have to try this. No thanks. Don't let me interrupt. Ooh. No, you can't. You shouldn't be in here. I'd like to know specifically what it was about the last course that you did not enjoy. You've barely eaten the food. Why? I need to know. Why don't you eat? Why do you care? I take my work very seriously when you're not eating. And that wounds me. Some very good eye acting mm. in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, your fourth course. Sous chef Jeremy's the mess. Whoa! Okay. And there's a there's the switch. <laughs> oh, there's the. Whoa! It's calm. Everything's okay. That's really unsettling. Because this menu, this guest list, this entire evening has been painstakingly planned, and you are not a part of that plan. In order to proceed, I have to know where to seat you. With us, or with them. And then you'll let me live? That you live, no. Of course not. Oh. 
Can't you see that? And that'd ruin the menu. We're all gonna die tonight. Isn't that right? Yes, chef! This is Bergamot I'm getting, chef. Yes, it is. <laughs> chef? Yeah. How many times have you eaten here in the last five years? I don't know. Six or seven. I think it's more than that, chef. Eleven. Eleven times. Most people consider themselves blessed if they eat here only once. Where we introduce every dish, every single time. We tell you exactly what we're feeding you. Please tell me one dish you ate the last time you were here. Oh. For the time before. So he's got a grudge against everyone in this room? Yeah. Yeah. Or what they represent? Rare fucking spotted halibut. What does it matter? It matters to the halibut, Mrs. Liebrand, and to the artist whose work turns to shit inside your gut. Doug Verrick is my angel investor. He owns this island and this restaurant. And now things are a little more complicated, and I own Doug Verrick. What the? Just fucking tell us how to stop this. We'll stop it, okay? You can't stop Obviously, it. Obviously, we have money. Just say how much, and we'll give it to you. Just say a fucking number, man! No. So, I don't denial, know. anger, bargaining. Oh, yeah! Silence, listen, can you hear it? I think he's right into it. Silence in this. Yeah. Great use of music. Yeah. 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 You belong here with your own breed. So, what breed is that? With the shit shovelers. You thought I couldn't tell? Oh, I know a fellow service industry worker when I see one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What were you told? What, uh, what were you told ahead of time? You told me it'd be the greatest menu ever created. Right, and? 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 That everyone would die. Everyone would die. <gasps> you had a date. You seem to remember you had a date. He's known this whole time. What? Date. She spoke up to me, Chef. So you hired her knowing she'd die. Huh. Yes. <laughs> Go on, lass. He's like he's making he's making them confront who they really are. Yeah. He's not as good as yeah he thinks he is. Yeah. Tyler's <laughs> <This> bullshit. <laughs> or to lack of cohesion. You are why the mystery has been drained from our art. That's how you picked him. You see that, yeah. Now, don't you? I know everything. And door. What's in the box? <clears throat> Someone behind you. No one is allowed inside Chef's house. Do you think we're special? Well, I suppose with the um, the woman we were just talking about, maybe it's because that's who he's ended up. He said earlier, didn't he? That's so he's ended up only serving to like the rich and powerful and elite, and he's probably and it made him lose. She represents him losing his passion for the art, I suppose. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> Sit down! <laughs> so he might have been giving her a way out, sending her for the barrel that had the knife on it. Yeah. Means of protection. Yeah, yeah. So where are they? That's his that's his investor. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> we started in McDonald's basically. What 
did you say? I said, I don't like your food, and I would like to send it back. <laughs> when I eat your food, it tastes like it was made with no love. Oh, this is ridiculous. We always cook with love, don't we? No, sir! Everyone knows love is the most important ingredient. Then you're kidding yourself. Come on, chef. I thought tonight was a night of hard home truths. This is one of them. You cook with obsession, not love. Mm. You failed, and you bored me. And the worst part is, I'm still fucking hungry. <laughs> you're, you're still hungry? Yes, I am. How hungry? Starved. What are you hungry for? What did you have? Everything. You know what I'd really like? Tell me. A cheeseburger. Oh. So the photo, the photo of him as a kid, with the burger. He was smiling, wasn't he? So it's just trying to make you remember the love of it. Yeah. Mm. Very clever. Yeah, he's smiling up. The music again, the music's come back in. Yeah, it's more hopeful. Yeah. No doubt. It was a cheeseburger. Yeah. That is a cheeseburger. Unfortunately, I think my eyes got a little bigger than my stomach. <laughs> Can I get the rest, Scott? <laughs> One moment, please. Very good. I had to kill them all because they destroyed his love of the craft. Yeah. And she gave him it back. Yeah. That's why. Master. Again, the hopeful music is in contrast. To, yeah, yeah. Marshmallows. So they're going to set the whole place on fire, I guess. But yeah, we're right. They've all accepted it, haven't they? Mm. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. <laughs> Chocolate hat. I love you all. We love you, Chef! I think that point there could have been enough of a distraction to get somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Good shout, Nick. That was amazing. Produced by Will Ferrell and Adam McKay. Interesting. I always find it interest, uh, interesting when comedians known for silly things get involved in serious things. Yeah. Agreed. <sighs> that was really well shot, really well uh, acting tour de force by him. Um, music one thing was I, on point. It was amazing. Go on. <clears throat> yeah, one thing I noticed was a lot of the shots in the restaurant, you know, it went through the evening to the night, and that camera's facing that, those big glass walls. Yeah. And, yeah. So carefully positioned so you couldn't see it. I like that. Mm. But do you remember when they went to the smokehouse? Oh, no, it was in the um, in the bunkhouse. And the guy asked, oh, do you ever get burnt out? You know, tired. Yeah. And she said, we never burn anything unless by design. <laughs> yeah. yeah, to make delicious. <laughs> okay. That is a good bit of uh, of oh god, what's the word called? My brain's gone. Um, you know, foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Thank you. Brilliant piece of foreshadowing there. Yeah, that is so cool. Well, thank you for joining us on that, guys. Um, we are. Well, I'm going to make a review video about this, all edited and lovely, and all that kind of a thing. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the recommendation and uh, saw the highlights. Um, 
The uncut version hopefully will be on our Patreon when we officially launch that. I don't. When we're we going to do that? Probably February, March, something like that. Yes, yeah, around ten. Yeah. Apart from that, well, still a bit to work out. Yeah. We're, we've yeah, Operation First Cam is going to go go launching somewhere around February March. Um, the building isn't ready yet, but we Nick and I have got some things that we can't talk about yet because you know contracts and all that. But um, we're going to be starting doing our sort of community service style um, operations very very soon. So keep an eye out on Team Reflector on Facebook is probably the best best way, and uh, and also obviously. Uh, Team Reflector CIC and Move It on YouTube. Till next time, I've been Move It. He's been Nick, and we'll see you at the next video. Ta-ra! Hey up! I'm Rory, the therapy dog. Click here to watch a video I picked out just for you, or check out our behind-the-scenes channel right here. And for every subscriber we get, I get a treat. So do it. Click it. Gravy ball.